Hello everyone, I got 5 jokes for you today. A truck driver often found amusement in running over lawyers as they strolled down the side of the road during his long drives. Each time he noticed a lawyer walking along the road, he couldn't resist the urge to swerve in their direction to hit them. The impact would cause a satisfyingly loud thud, after which the driver would quickly swerve back onto the road and continue on his way. One day, as the truck driver was cruising down the highway, he spotted a priest hitchhiking by the side of the road. He decided to pull over and ask the priest, Where are you headed, Father? The priest informed him that he was on his way to his church located a few miles up the road. I'd be more than happy to give you a lift, the truck driver kindly offered. With gratitude, the priest climbed into the passenger seat, and the truck driver resumed his journey down the road. As they continued driving, the truck driver suddenly caught sight of a lawyer walking down the road. He instinctively swerved in an attempt to hit the unsuspecting lawyer. However, at the very last moment, he remembered that he had a priest in the truck with him and swiftly swerved back onto the road to avoid hitting the lawyer. Although he was quite certain he had missed the lawyer, he still heard a loud thud emanating from the side of the truck. Puzzled about the origin of the noise, he glanced in his mirrors but couldn't see anything unusual. He then turned to the priest and apologetically said, I'm sorry father. I almost hit a lawyer back there. The priest replied with a comforting smile, That's okay my son. I got him with the door. Two golfers are preparing to play a full 18-hole round when one of them mentions that he's heading to the pro shop to purchase some golf balls and inquires if his friend needs any as well. His friend replies, No thank you, I already have a ball. Astonished, the golfer exclaims, You have only one ball? You're bound to lose that at some point, and then what will you do? Oh, not to worry, this is a unique ball, his friend assures him, it's impossible to lose. Puzzled, the golfer asks, what do you mean you can't lose it? What if you accidentally hit it into a water hazard? Well, this extraordinary ball has the ability to float, so you simply can't lose it, his friend confidently states. Okay, but what if you end up hitting it into some dense rough, and you can't locate it? The golfer persists. The ball is equipped with a tiny strobe light that will start flashing when needed, ensuring you won't lose it, his friend explains. Growing more intrigued, the golfer asks, Well, what if you strike it far into the woods and you don't even have a clue where to begin searching for it? Without skipping a beat, his friend replies, The ball comes with a small built-in horn, and it will start emitting beeps. Therefore, you absolutely can't lose it. Amazed, the golfer exclaims, That's truly incredible. Where on earth did you manage to acquire such a fantastic ball? His friend casually shrugs, I found it. A man visits the dentist's office to inquire about the cost of having a tooth pulled. $100, the dentist informed him. Oh, that's quite pricey, the man remarked. Do you offer any more affordable options? That's the standard rate for a tooth extraction, the dentist explained. The man pondered his options for a moment. What if you were to perform the procedure without using any anesthetic? Well, that would be highly unusual, but it's possible. In that case, it would cost you around $75, the dentist replied. The man continued to contemplate. How about if a trainee performed the extraction without using any anesthetic? Well, the dentist considered, I suppose that could be arranged, although it would be significantly more painful. I'd estimate the cost to be about $35. The man thought further. Is it still too expensive? What if you made it a training session? with a student performing the extraction while other students observe. The dentist responded, All right, that could provide a valuable learning experience for the students, but be warned, it will be quite traumatic to undergo the procedure in such a manner. I'll only charge you $5 for that. Fantastic, the man exclaimed. That's just perfect. Book my wife in for tomorrow. The bartender approached a man sitting at the bar and asked, What can I get you to drink? The man replied, I'll have a scotch, please. After handing him the drink, the bartender said, that'll be $5 for the scotch. The man responded, what do you mean? I don't owe you anything for this drink. A lawyer who happened to be sitting nearby overheard their conversation. He chimed in, addressing the bartender, the customer has a valid point. In the original offer you made, which constitutes a binding contract upon his acceptance, 
there was no mention of any payment. Understandably unhappy about the situation, the bartender begrudgingly told the man, All right, I'll let it go this time, but don't ever let me catch you in this establishment again. The following day, the very same man walked into the bar. Upon seeing him, the bartender exclaimed, What on earth are you doing back in here? I thought I told you to stay away from this place. I can't believe you have the audacity to come back. The man responded innocently, What are you talking about? This is my first time setting foot in this bar. Worried that he might have made an error, the bartender quickly backed down. I'm terribly sorry, he admitted, but the resemblance is truly remarkable. You must have a double. That's very kind of you, said the man. Make it a scotch. A man steps out onto the street and manages to catch a taxi that just happens to be passing by. He climbs into the taxi, and the driver exclaims, Wow, what perfect timing. You're exactly like Dave. The passenger, confused, inquires, Who? The taxi driver elaborates, Dave Smith. He was a man who always seemed to do everything right, every single time. Just like how I appeared right when you needed a cab, things like that consistently happened to Dave Smith. The passenger commented, Well, nobody's perfect. Everyone has a few dark clouds hanging over them. Except Dave Smith, the driver insisted. He was an exceptional athlete. He could have won the Grand Slam in tennis. He had the skills to compete with professional golfers. He sang with the voice of an opera baritone and danced with the grace of a Broadway star, and you should have heard him play the piano. He was truly an extraordinary individual. The passenger replied, It sounds like he was genuinely one of a kind. The taxi driver continued, There's more to it. He had a memory like a supercomputer. He never forgot anyone's birthday. He was an expert on wine, knew exactly which dishes to order, and always used the correct fork. He could fix just about anything. Unlike me, when I change a fuse, the entire street loses power. But Dave Smith could do everything flawlessly. The passenger, now in awe, exclaimed, Wow, he must have been quite the man. The taxi driver went on, he always knew the fastest route to take in traffic and how to avoid congestion. I, on the other hand, always seemed to get caught in it. Moreover, Dave never made a mistake and truly knew how to treat a woman, making her feel cherished. He would never argue with her, even if she was clearly in the wrong, and his attire was always impeccable, with his shoes polished to perfection. He was the epitome of the perfect man. Nobody could ever come close to Dave Smith. Curious, the passenger inquired, So, how did you end up meeting him? To which the taxi driver replied, Oh, I never actually met Dave. He passed away, and I married his wife. <laughs>